Hey y'all, it's Sandy with Little House on Metairie. Welcome to my home. If you are new here, I just wanted to welcome you. And if you are coming back to visit my channel again, thank you so much. In today's video, we are going to be doing our very last shop with me for Valentine's decor. We're gonna be doing a series where I will be decorating my home for Valentine's and Mardi Gras. So we've already gone shopping at Hobby Lobby and Home Goods to see what they have out there. So today we're going to be going shop at Target. We're just mainly gonna do the dollar area in the front where it has the dollar through $5 options. And then we'll go and see what they have to choose for Valentine treats and decor. And then after that, we're gonna go to Pop Shelf, which I don't know if you guys have a local one in your area, but it's like a Dollar General. And we found it during the Christmas time. They have some aisles where they offer decor. So we're gonna go see what they have there. And then we're gonna go to a couple of thrift stores. So I'm excited to start my series soon where we will be decorating a little house on Metairie. So let's go on our last shopping trip to a couple of these stores and see what we can find for Valentine's. So without further ado, let's go shopping. I wanted to add, if we have time, I wanna stop at Dollar Tree and also see what they have for Valentine's. That is one place that I love to look for every holiday. So stay tuned to the end of this video to see a sneak peek of what Dollar Tree has for this 2024 Valentine season. But before we head there, we have a lot more shopping to do and we're gonna start off here at Target in the dollar through $5 section. So I spotted this cute little mug. I'm definitely seeing a donut theme this year, so I may be incorporating that at my treat bar. But look how cute this one is with the purple heart handle. I have a lot of cute Valentine, and I also see some spring decor. But we're going to try to focus just on Valentine's today. Oh my goodness, y'all. I think this adorable charcuterie board with the little red heart bowl is precious. I think that would be so cute this Valentine's season. And then I spotted this cute tear tray. I am definitely considering getting it for our treat bar because I keep seeing donut themes. So I might maybe get this to display some little mini donuts for Valentine's. So definitely something I'm considering. And look how sweet this is. It's got a little heart opening at the top. I also think this little heart vase is so sweet to put a flower or even just a little rose inside of it. I also thought this little set was sweet. They have some napkins and then they have eight note cards with envelopes in here. I thought that was precious to do a little note, a card for each person. If you do a Valentine's party or a Valentine's dinner for your loved ones, just writing a special love note to each of them, I thought would be really sweet. And then they have a cute display of candles. I definitely don't like to burn um, outside of soy mostly, but I do get candles from time to time, especially if they have cute little containers like this because I can burn the candle and then after make my own uh, with the container. So I love to pick these up when I see them and I love the ridged edges on these. Usually in this area, they have a selection or two of seasonal blankets, and they're usually inexpensive, like $5. So it's a great one to use outdoors on our swing or on a patio set, but also indoors as well because, again, they're great prices. So my kids spotted this very last one here in our store. It's a little plush dice. How cute is that to play a game with? So if you are like us and you love a good family movie night, especially with popcorn, how cute is this little popcorn ceramic set right here? It even has the adorable bowls to go with it. 
I thought these were absolutely precious on their own or to put your own photo in. This one is a soft blush pink and it also has this beautiful white option. Like I said, you can use them with those inside or DIY your own look for those. They had a couple of cute kitchen towel sets like this one and I loved the blue with the ruffle at the bottom. I thought that was a sweet detail. And then they also had this one that I liked as well. It's got a cute um, little embellishment at the bottom and then the little hearts with the stripes in the back. I thought this was a sweet set either for Valentine's, it can go for a spring party or even a cute girl's birthday party. I saw this little tea set. This is really sweet. It could be used for Valentine's well into spring and Easter and for all those fun tea parties. They have, it's actually um, glass and it has the pink, uh, blue, and then the clear color to choose from. And they have the saucers with the little teacups sets to go with it. Also, how cute are these little tin canisters? So I almost passed these by because I really don't like fake flowers, especially ones that look this fake. But, you know, these could make some really cute DIYs. I can see like four of them together, hanging it on a wall, especially like in a little girl's room and just putting a pretty gold heart in the center of it or something for Valentine's or even well into spring. So don't pass these up if you can come up with a great DIY for them. I think you can make them look really cute. So again, faux flowers, but I think they did a really good job of incorporating it in this precious teapot. So these are uh, something that you could use for Valentine's and well into spring. So I like to buy decor that you can use for multiple seasons and holidays. And I think these would be a great option. It's hard to tell, but one's like a peach, a soft peach color, and the other one's more of a pink color. So hopefully the camera is picking that up. So again, here are some pieces that could be used for Valentine's and then reused well into the spring and Easter season. They had three of these flag options. They were each a dollar, and these would be really cute tucked inside arrangements or planters. So I didn't film, but we did pick up some treats and little snacks for the Valentine uh, Cocoa Treat Bar. So you'll see that when I do my Decorate With Me, but I did wanna film some decor that they have here back in the store. They have some really cute wreath options as well as some really cute garlands. So I had gotten some little white uh, Valentine houses from Hobby Lobby and I like this little set here. It's got the pink roof and then this one has the red. would be really cute to decorate with, but also make some really cute Valentine's gifts. 
and then again i'm loving the donuts and then this one has the little uh, cup of either coffee or cocoa so i'm definitely considering getting this for the treat bar also Absolutely love this heart tray. They have the heart details all the way around as well as the big heart for the top. So at this store, not a lot of options left, but on this end cap for $10, they have these really cute blankets, some little stuffed animals, and some cute pillows. So I did see another end cap with lots of pillow and blanket options for $10. I love this wreath. I actually like the simplicity of just the red. And then they have this little XOXO flag. And then down here, they have some candles that we're going to check out. Again, I like to DIY my own with a soy, but I do like to look at containers just to see if I can, I can use the candle, but then I can always reuse it to make my own. And I thought these little uh, bubble ones right here were really unique and precious. So they also have, besides this pink one, another bubble red candle to choose from as well. So before we leave Target, I just wanted to show y'all this really cute love mat for $13. So we are now in Pop Shelf, and if you heard me talk about it earlier, to me it's very similar to Dollar General. My husband had actually taken me here for Christmas, and we had gotten a few things for the Christmas holiday, so I definitely wanted to come back and check out what all they had for Valentine's. If you like Dollar General and you have a pop shelf in your area, it's definitely worth going and check this store out. To me, they have lots of home decor, home um, goods. They have lots of beauty supplies, arts and crafts. They do still have some snacks and treats and all that. Just a little bit less of the grocery aisles here and more of home decor stuff. So and beauty supplies and stuff like that. So I would definitely check out your local one if you have one. And let's go see what we can find for this Valentine's season 2024 here at Pop Shelf. So I really like this wreath. It was pink, red, and white. And I like to decorate with all three colors sometimes, but it did bother me the tassel didn't quite match the red at the top. So that was a thing for me. <laughs> Sorry. If it doesn't bother you, it would bother me. But anyway, these cute candles are each $4 a piece. And I absolutely loved the containers that they're in. And again, after I use these, I can DIY them for making my own candles. And I thought they were really pretty uh, containers. And then how cute are these little mailboxes? You can put the, your little letters in it and Valentine cards and the back of it actually does open to retrieve them. Here's another cube. This one is wooden. I absolutely love their two rug options. They're really cute and unique.
I love this vase. It's got a heart opening at the top. I apologize. I don't know why the phone is being weird about zooming in on the price. So if you can't see, again, I apologize. So this one is $5. They have some really cute sign options. I like this one, it's rather large and it's got like that blush pink color. And this one is $8. And this cute little flip sign is $3. I think this little love you more sign is super sweet. I love the colors on them. It's something I tell my kids each night. So on this side, they have lots of Valentine crafts like these pom-poms. They have some dollar stickers like these felt ones and these clean ones. These are great to add to soap dispensers or any clear canisters to decorate with them for each season. And to me, they have some cute options here for Valentine's. If you want to just pick up little things for a dollar and two dollars to make a gift basket or a gift bag for a child, a grandchild, or loved one, they have some really cute options here. I think these are really cute to add to something like that. Also, if you decorate a tree for Valentine's, they have some really cute options for ornaments for a dollar. Watch my previous videos. I love to browse the gift bag sections, especially during the different holidays, to see if there's any that I could use for table or wall art by putting them in frames. It's a really cost-effective way of being able to change out decor seasonally and adding some really inexpensive art to your walls or your tables. have some really cute selections for small, medium, and large gift boxes. The smaller ones are only a dollar and the little tin buckets are a dollar as well. So my cute little shopping assistant said we definitely needed this bubble gum jar for our treat bar. How adorable are these little Valentine plates and this cute Valentine cup. This would also make a great gift or be fun to eat snacks or dinner or lunch with. They have a little section for cute Valentine's kitchen essentials.
had three beautiful options for candle holders in different colors. They had this one for $3 and then the other two were $6. had a cute set to keep for yourself to decorate with or to give to a loved one it was so precious it was six unscented candles This is your first time here. I love to shop for paper for different holidays. Again, to make a great, inexpensive table and wall art. give you all a peek of all the cute a party and a valentine supplies that they have before heading to the 75 percent off clearance section for christmas to see if there's any decor i can use for valentine's there and i already spotted these cute red uh, baskets and then down here this is more like a maroon but again these are 75 percent off so i did not want to pass this opportunity up to find some great deals that i could use to decorate with for valentine's now let's head to one of my favorite thrift stores to see if they have anything that i could get to decorate for this valentine season In the south we celebrate mardi gras and i have a good collection but it's a thrift store and i don't want to pass up on anything that i see that i could also use to decorate for mardi gras so i may not be able to pass up on a few things that i see while shopping for valentine decor So if you watch my previous videos, I love to use gold accents, especially decorating my living room. But Mardi Gras has beautiful colors of yellow, green, and gold. So I'm definitely going to be on the lookout to incorporate some more gold pieces for Mardi Gras. And I'm trying to really focus on a Valentine decor, but I am seeing some beautiful green and purple options for vases or containers. So not going to pass those up again because it's a thrift store and I think those would match nicely with my Mardi Gras decor. I finally found some beautiful vases and planters that would be beautiful to decorate with for Valentine's.
have a lot of basket options. I will definitely be coming back for the spring, but I did spot this really cute Valentine's one that will look cute in the family room. So they didn't have a lot for Valentine's at thrifting, but I definitely got a few things and I'm pleased with the shopping trip. Now let's head over to Dollar Tree and see what they have new for this Valentine's holiday 2024. So they have two kissing booth options for $1.25. And I always see these little heart, uh, they're like the wooden uh, candy ones. And I think that these would look really cute on our treat bar, but I bought quite a bit, so I, it would be too cluttered this year. Or even just putting it like in a large clear vase. I think that would be really cute to mimic the candy. So that might be a project for next year. But if you are looking for inexpensive signs, definitely check out your local Dollar Tree. Now let's go look at all the options that we can use for some Valentine DIYs and gifts. I see some buckets over there that I'm going to go look at. I think these would make really cute popcorn buckets because I love to add popcorn to our treat bar. And speaking of treat bars, how cute is this little jar with the pink heart top? They also have a good selection of candles that can be used for Valentine's and well into spring. They also have a cute selection of unique candles and tapered candles with the ridges. This aisle, they have some more DIY crafts for little ones to keep them busy this Valentine season. And then they also have some wooden options to DIY for decorating your home. Or if you do a Valentine's tree, they have lots of options down this aisle to choose from. Like these picks, they have a ribbon and tool, and they even have ornaments. And seriously, y'all, how adorable is this cute Valentine's bear? 
before leaving Dollar Tree. I always like to look down the three to five dollar section. They usually have some very cute decor for each holiday also and then they have these cute options for entryway signs that caught my eye. Y'all, I think they have a, such cute options right here. Look at this little bear set with the dangling legs. The Dollar Tree also has a great holiday gift options. And I don't know if this is just a trend, these cubed um, dice, or if it's something that's been around for quite some time. I'm just slowly growing my Valentine collection. So let me know in the comments below, is this a current or old trend? And then look how cute this little heart cheese board is with a spreadable knife. I also think this little Be Mine a tray is so sweet. To me, Dollar Tree has just stepped up their game for decor. I know it's not a dollar anymore and it can go all the way up to five, but still it's really some great prices. And to me, they just have upped their game and they're adding cuter and cuter things each year. So we pretty much browse all the Valentine aisles. So it's time to go home and we'll do a quick haul together, but definitely go check out your local Dollar Tree. To me, they have such great decor and a such great gift options. Hey friends, well we are back from shopping and I found so much good stuff. I hope that you enjoyed the shopping trip. We went to Target, we went to Pop Shelf, and we did some thrifting and I found some really great things that I can incorporate in my decorating for this year. So let's get started. So at Target, I love to shop the dollar through five dollar section. The first thing I got was this five dollar tier tray. It's got the little heart. So we're gonna have a Coco Valentine station. I didn't even plan on incorporating donuts, but I found so many cute donut themes this year. I don't know if it's just a thing, but I couldn't uh, pass these up. So I'm definitely going to add some donuts to the treat bar. So I'm hoping to maybe add them on this tray. So that's kind of what my intention of getting this for um, was. So. Next thing that I got in that dollar to five dollar section was this. I think it's so precious. This would be really cute in my daughter's room. She has like a blush color in there, but I think this will go nicely in, in her room. Thing I got, like I said, I was not planning on doing a donut theme at all, but how cute is this? It's a little, um, I'm gonna call it my little cocoa cup and a little donut this is actually five dollars but i thought it was so cute and like i said i'm finding a whole bunch of donut things if you watch my shop with me at um home good i found like cute little donut figurine so it's just kind of coming together guys like i said it wasn't intentional but i think it's going to be so cute to incorporate some little donuts this year i'm a certified aromatherapist so <clears throat> since I've gone more natural, the synthetics of candles sometimes is just too strong for me now. I try to make my own DIY candles, but I thought this was so cute. It was $3 and it's um, the scent of Berry Daydream, so it's not overwhelming at all. It's very subtle, but it still smells really uh, sweet. All this cute little mug right here in the dollar section. So this was $5. I thought this would be really cute to incorporate at our cocoa bar because I like to put um, mugs for the different season. And this will definitely go with all the other donut things that I got. So I found these cute little frames in that dollar section through $5. They were actually $3 a piece. And I think they're so cute. This one's white. But I don't plan on keeping this in there. I may this year, but I definitely bought these to do DIYs in them because I like to add paper and different, um, I, you could even put a picture in here. So I think I'm gonna use this in my daughter's room, but this can be used um, pretty much anywhere as for a Valentine. And then this one is the soft pink one, and I love the detail on it. So to go with the tea time picture frames, they had this cute set, as you saw in the video. These, this was $5 and the saucer and the little cups, teacup and saucer 
was $3 for the set. And I did get two things in that back section near all the treats. They had this really cute little house. It's a little Valentine house. So this was $5. So the last thing I got from Target was this cute EXO sign. It was $10. It's a soft pink color. So hopefully the camera's picking it up. So the next place that we went was a store called Pop Shelf. It's like a Dollar General. Really great prices. First thing I got were these papers. If you watch me, you know, I love to add papers, gift bags, gift wrap, gift boxes, all the things to make art and frames. So I thought that I could incorporate some of these in here. And I thought this was cute. This is just some little felt stickers. And I thought I could scatter that around the family room and even the little treat bar. So it's got like the little cupcakes on it, Be My Valentine, and they're red and white and then blue and pink. So the next thing I got in the dot for a dollar were these cute adorable hearts. So I got a couple of those. And then the next thing I got were these cute little hearts. They did have these at Hobby Lobby, if you saw my shop with me there. They had the light uh, colored wood and then the darker color wood. But I liked these because they're white. Next thing I got was this really cute heart shadow box. And it's got a little hanger, so you can hang it up. It's really cute and it says, hello beautiful in the gold. So hopefully you can see that. Next thing I got were these cute bags. I love gift bags to make art out of them. So these were each a dollar. And if I don't use them as art, I can always use them for their intended use. Some gift bags for Valentine's this year. So they will not go to waste. So these were actually $4, but everything was 75% off. And these were actually in the Christmas section. I did get four of these, but I'm thinking I'm gonna probably do a DIY with these for ornaments or as decoration. So this was $5 and it's actually a very good size. I plan on putting some bubble gum in here for our treat bar. In the Christmas section, they had these cute kitchen towels and they were 75% off of $3, so literal cents. And they had four of them, so I thought it would go really well for Valentine. And these were $3, so again, it was under a dollar, 75% off. And I got two of them. I thought they would make really cute DIYs as well. And they had these. They have, this was 10 at 75% off. This was eight at 75% off. Next place we went was one of my favorite thrift stores. It's called the Pinhook Flea Market. I was specifically trying to find some Valentine stuff, but y'all, they had so many cute things for Mardi Gras that I did not want to pass up. They're purple, but again, they could be used for Valentine's as well. They had this really cute uh, purple vase. It was pretty tall. It was $4. So the next thing I got at the thrift store was a beautiful vase. It was $8, but she did give me a little discount, so they did definitely helped. And I thought this was so pretty. I love, um, it's like that soft glazed pink color. Here it was this cute basket. I'm probably going to DIY it. Um, I may take the flowers off. We'll see and just add the heart or take this all off and just use the red basket. So that is it friends. That is the end of this haul. I hope that you had a fun coming along as we shopped for some Valentine decor. If you love shopping for the different holidays and seasons, doing some seasonal and holiday decorating. If you love DIYs and aromatherapy blends to use for yourself or your family, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. It's absolutely free. You hit that notification bell so that you will see all my upcoming videos as I post them. And I'd appreciate it if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel grow here on YouTube and get seen. And let me know in the comments below that you stopped by for a visit. I love reading each and every one of your comments. Y'all are always so kind. I'm so humbled. Till next time, friends. Bye for now.